we're done at the production unit here in Tebby, and uh, we're going to be showing you how to how we test a product once it's been assembled. So the standard production test for a product. So we start by reading off the QR code here for the test system to identify the pump, and then connect it to the test equipment. There we go. Lock it down, and then we connect the controls and the compressed air line. Now, once the pump is installed in the machine, we move over here towards the test software. I started by getting the serial number of the pump to identify the pump and the test cases which are specific to this pump. The test is now initiated. And we start by exercising the valves and seating all the seals of the pump. After that, we run an initial flow test. And after the initial flow, where we establish whether or not the pump is good or not uh, in terms of flow, we do a, com uh, a sealed test to find out whether or not it's leaking vacuum or, or uh, if we have made any mistakes in the assembly. After the sealed test, we go for a maximum vacuum test where we test how deep a vacuum level the pump can actually obtain. And we finish off by doing a positive pressure and a blow off for the pump. By doing that, we have now tested all the functions of the pump. And we start by reconfiguring the pump to different control setup, being NPN in this case. And we run a shorter version of the same test sequence once more. So starting with an initial flow, we run a max vacuum test and then a blow off. At the end of the test, we run a manual override. So we test that the manual override of the valves also work. And at that point, the test is finished.